Welcome friends to the 10th episode of Invest the Friday's Five Chats and today we have with us Mr. Karthik. Hi Karthik. Yeah, hi sir. Karthik is one of the most important person whom you are seeing today. You will never have seen him in front of the screen because he is a man who works always behind the screen and if you are seeing all my YouTube videos so far, he is a person who is instrumental in ensuring that it becomes very presentable to all of you. The content of course can come from here but to make it more presentable, adding animation, adding whenever there is appropriate things as a quote on every other aspect of making it much more presentable and likable to the audience at large. He is the key person. He is running an organization, Joker Creations, with a team of more than 22 people for the last three years. Welcome, Karthik, to our show. Yeah, hi, sir. So, first of all, thanks for the opportunity what you gave. Uh, I've been watching the recent videos of yours. So, I've been having some doubts and uh, questions to ask to you. So, this is the right uh, place to ask, I think so. Yes. So, let's ask. Uh, I have been uh, doing business for past three years. So in that period, I'm totally thinking about uh, about uh, earning and like that. So I'm now now I'm confident about um, starting my investment journey. So how to invest, sir? So what about investment? Fantastic question, Karthik. Most of them, in fact, come and ask me, sir. Can you tell me where to invest? How to invest? But then it is important to go back to some of the very basic and fundamental questions. First, we'll have to understand what is money and what is our relationship with money. That is one of the most important questions, Karthik. So let me ask you this question, okay? What is it that one activity wherein most of us are spending our maximum time, energy, effort, sweat, and blood during the week? You have about uh, 24 hours a day and 168 hours a week. So where does your maximum focus go, Karthik? In what activity? Mostly in front of screen, uh, we can say like uh, business uh, business related activities. Right. So, what is it that you expect out of your business related activities? Income. Very good. So, one word answer. Right. All <laughs> of us are putting all our efforts to earn income. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell me what is income? Yeah. Uh, like uh, we are doing service to the client. So, okay. what they are paying, uh, the price they are paying. Fantastic. So it is the price what your clients are paying for your service. It is a very transactional world, Karthik. Okay. Everywhere if you look at it, it's always about giving, taking, giving, taking, give and take, give and take. So if you are looking at how does a commercial transaction go is all of us, we have been blessed with some kind of a talent, skill. We have some knowledge about certain areas and using our labor, manual labor, as well as the skills and knowledge and putting all our sweat and blood we try to add value to the lives of our clients. Even if you are in service business or you are a professional or if you are doing even a product. Let us say you bought the shirt. Only when you like the shirt, you would have paid the price that the shopkeeper would have asked. Am I right? If you yes. just like it or if the shopkeeper is not giving you a valuable product, you would not have bought it. Correct? Yeah. If you are saying that, okay, you are adding value to your clients and then they are paying. So price is what they are paying for the value that they are receiving. Am I right in saying so? Yeah. Right. So all of us are doing the same activity, even if you are a business owner doing business or even if they are employees who are working in your organization. Is it the same that they do? Yes, sir. So unless and until we make the fellow human beings life better by adding value to them, we cannot survive today in this world. And mm -hmm. what is it that you are being paid is what you call it as an income, be it a salary income, where you render your services, you offer your time with all the skills and knowledge you put in your sweat and blood to somebody else as an employee. The employer pays you what we call as a salary income. If you are a business owner, you are offering this value added services to your clients and you are earning income out of that, which you will call as business income. If the same thing, professionals like say doctors, chartered accountants, lawyers, they do, what they do, they also relieve their patients or their clients from the pain in life. You go to a doctor, you are paying a doctor fees. Yes or no? Why? Because he is helping you get out of the pain in your life. Mm -hmm. They are treating all the ailments and whatever that value added services that they are offering for which we are paying them some fee. Yes or no? 
right yes. so these are all professional income you you going one more uh, no level in the sense that you look at uh, musicians you look at people who are actors you look at dancers you look at professional sports people now they say they turned pro okay be it a professional tennis player or a cricket player why do you think they are paid so much of crores in the ipl auction because again they have a talent they use their skill and they are offering the services to the ipl uh, team and then they are paid by the team owner which is what we see in ipl auction yes or no yes. so basically if we have to classify our incomes there are three heads of income in which we can classify these the first yes. head of income is what i am now talking about which we will call as active income where you put all your sweat blood talent skill labor and try to keep earning money in your life sir uh, so what you said like you have to running running for the money so is there any easy way to do that we are all running for money we are in the rat race believe me karthik there is no easy money in life never ever you ask anybody who is a seasoned person with lot of experience in life there can never ever be something called as an easy money free money is available only in a cage yeah. okay you would have seen that no they keep trap to catch the mice the rats and all that right so only in a cage or in such maze you will find free food so free money is not there easy money is never there but going to the next stage after a active income say at some stage you know you will feel bored yeah how long will i keep you now running behind for money for money at some stage i want the money to work for me you will reach that stage na right? that is what we call as trying to create a passive income source so the next stage is how can i create passive income sources so if you are looking at kathi i will ask you one example you have uh, seen people invest in properties yes sir what do they get if they invest in properties be it commercial property or even residential property they might have expect a rent right so are they working to generate income as rent or is a property generating the income called as rent there is a property is generating so you are not working for money the property over here is working for you in creating an income source which we call as rent so this is an example of passive income there are many such examples kapi even the example that i told you earlier about musicians there are music directors there are singers even if you have heard about authors you now for all the books that they have authored and with sale of every book they will be paid what we call as royalty so this royalty income is again a passive you uh, know income source mm-hmm. you will find lot of them who are investors who invest in stock market or in mutual funds and create a secondary source of income in the name of dividend income so the profits of these investments they may keep taking out on a regular basis there are also very safe conservative investors who will park the money in deposits be it at the bank be it at post office or be it in government uh, no schemes or even some debentures or debt mutual funds bond and they try to create a alternate source of income in the name of interest mm-hmm. i am not talking about people who are involved in private lending that might have its own you know risk okay so you should have risk appetite for that but if you are looking at a safer kind of an income source conservatively there are lot of uh, these kind of opportunities to generate interest income for you so this is also a passive income source there is also another category of people who probably they have done work in example government sector and rendered long duration of service after a particular age they say i have retired and they will be paid what is called as a pension on a regular basis they may even create pension by investing in certain annuity policies of insurance company life insurance company mm-hmm. offer this kind of pension product so they here because of an earlier existing relationship as an employee employer the ex employer pays to this ex employee in the name of pension this is also a passive income source there are a very exceptional cases of people who will receive alimony you would have heard about alimony you know after divorce or uh, mm-hmm. people uh, you know part ways in life this relationship is no more there but then for financial support support system they might be getting some kind of alimony so there are different kind of passive income sources so predominantly the concept here is i am not working any more for money but the money is started working for me yeah sir so uh, what about the gifts and inheritance is that also a part of the income if you look at when we call income what is it that we are looking at is some kind of a stability with respect to either the quantum of money that keeps coming 
or at least the frequency of how frequently on a recurring basis I keep getting it. If you are looking at deposits in banks or post office and all, the quantum of money you are sure, if you are looking at senior citizen saving scheme or monthly income schemes, even in FDs, you fix a particular frequency. Every quarter you should receive the money. So there you know how frequently you are getting and how much you are going to get. If I am taking rental as an example, you know for sure every month you will get. But then provided the tenant is occupying the property, suppose it is vacant or if the next tenant comes, especially the recent floods in Chennai, there are cases that I am hearing of where people are vacating the ground floor. And now if you are looking for a tenant to occupy the next uh, you know, space, the person who's coming in might not be willing to pay the same kind of rent. So there can be a drop in this income, but at least you expect as long as it is occupied, you expect the rental income to keep coming. So when you are talking about income, even if it is salaried income, most of them who are salaried employees, they are salaried because they are looking for a safety and security with respect to the frequency and the amount of money that comes on a recurring basis. So mm -hmm. when you are saying income, we want it to be stable. When you are talking about gifts here, uh, Karthik, every year on your birthday, do we get gifts? <laughs> every year, it's a recurring event. Birthday comes, anniversaries come. But then we cannot say for sure, some years I will get, some years I might not get. Even if you are talking about inheritance. Inheritance is a one-off case. It is not something which is recurring in nature. So what happens in these kind of examples, we call them as capital receipts. Okay. okay. If you are talking about even a property, for example, rental income is recurring in nature. So we say it as rental income. If mm -hmm. you are selling the property, then what you get there, we call it as capital gains. In income tax language, it's called as capital gains. So all these are examples of, if I can use the right word, it is capital receipts. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do we do when we get these kind of a capital receipts, be it a sale of an asset or inheritance or this kind of a gift? we may smartly put it to use by creating assets which will generate a passive income source for us. Okay. So, okay, sir. So, recently, my couple of my friends are suggesting me to do a trading and all. So, what is uh, the share market trading, sir? See, here goes the third bucket of uh, income which many of them recently are getting attracted to which is speculative income. Mm -hmm. Like as you rightly said, you know, trading in stock markets, trading in commodity markets or forex markets. See, these are all subject to a very high risk. You would have definitely heard of a lot of people who have lost money in speculative avenues than people who have gained money. Okay, have you ever bet on horses? No. Played card games? No. In digital, we can be played. That uh, rummy and all. <laughs> yeah, you would have. You would have. Okay, uh, what are the probabilities of winning there? Can you always say that? Every day I keep playing and every day I keep winning or at least once in a month or once in a week. Can you ever predict the source of income? Here? No, you cannot, right? I have a friend, okay, who says that every year he wants to go to a casino and spend the quality time there and no, Udado, a particular amount of money he will uh, keep aside. He wants to blow that money in a casino, okay? Over here, you will find all these kinds of activities are speculative activities. Okay. You would have heard only one person always makes money in casino, which is the casino owner. Casino owner. Okay, not the people who go to a casino. So here we call them as speculative activities, and these are only uh, probably subject to a high risk. Somebody who has got a high risk appetite may involve in this kind of activities, but since the outcomes are not predictable, it is always better to shun them or limit it. Don't really depend on it. I would always say put. A quantity of money over here, what you are willing to lose. Okay, you will never ever lose a sleepless night if you lose this money. Only in such cases you can involve in this kind of activity. Otherwise, it's better to avoid. Most of us today focus all our energy, time, focus, skill, labor, everything in generating active income. But I would leave with only one most important thought, Karthik. It is important for us to focus on creating multiple income sources. When you are talking about diversification and investment, we say put your eggs in multiple baskets. Don't put all your eggs in the same basket. So that's called a diversification. It is important to also diversify our income sources. Don't try to depend only on one income. You must have alternate sources of income. Yes, I do agree. Today we have no time for even that one profession that we have taken up or one job to do earlier. People were doing side business. 
create side income sources and all that today there is no sides left okay but having said that it is important to focus in life how do i create multiple sources of incomes active income passive income both are required yeah sir thank you sir so now i know about the income what you have said but what you have to do with that income sir how fantastic to... fantastic question uh, no karthik uh, my dear viewers i am sure you would have got the same thought as karthik has asked but before i answer this question what is it that you like about this entire video do share your comments on how you are planning to create multiple sources of income and if you like the video do go ahead and smash the like button and share this video with all your friends and to continuously get updates on our future videos where we are going to answer question whatever karthik has asked and this might be running in most of your minds to understand more about how we can productively utilize our income and how we can get into a good savings habit and an investment pattern do watch out for the future videos of our finvis series the friday five chats till then take care have a fantastic week ahead thanks a lot karthik for joining us for the show thank you sir